Welcome back y'all to another hot, hot, hot day here in Texas. So it is several days later uh, in the video. It's gonna be a second later. But uh, just first of all, uh, I wanna say if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. Uh, we're, we're building this truck here together, you guys and me. Um, you know, if you guys ever have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the uh, comment section below. Uh, sorry for the videos. I was trying to get the videos out every week, but it's uh, not looking like it's gonna happen just because I'm so busy. But we're getting this truck done as fast as we can and uh, just on a budget too. So uh, anyways, last video, I cleaned the transmission up and we are going to try and stick it in the truck again today. A couple things I need to do. I took a look at the clutch and everything. Everything looks to be good um, in the, with the clutch. And um, so I'm okay with that. We cleaned the transmission up. I painted it, filled it full of diesel, let it sit. I spun it every once in a while just to clean everything up inside of it. And then um, we, uh, uh, that's, and then we made a bracket for the, mount for the transmission to the truck frame um it's not completed the mount but it's uh i got the bolt holes we got it drilled we got it on the transmission someone bolted on the so today we're going to try and stick it back into the truck bolt everything on um i will have to get uh oil for it and um i gotta get it out of gear first so before we start the engine up so i think i'm going to go ahead uh pull the funnel out i have on top with where i put the diesel into and i'm going to put this uh stick back in get it into neutral and then we'll take the top up so we don't get nothing inside the transmission and then we'll try and get it pushed back up in here i'm not 100 100 if i can do it or not because it's heavy heavy transmission and all i have is a floor jack so we will see Right now it's on a um, furniture type dolly deal that it's sitting and it's strapped to. I'm hoping I can just put the jack underneath it and lift that whole thing up too with it and then slide it in, bolt it up. We'll see though. I think this is gonna be a really pain in the butt, pain in the butt to get in, but um, nothing, uh, nothing else but to do it. So we'll get started here. I'll set you guys up and um, we'll give this thing into neutral and then we'll try and put it underneath the truck. What I just tried to do is the stick shift here, the way it's ran is it's hitting my seat when I have this bench seat in this front in the sharp body. So I just wanted to put in put the stick in backwards and see if it'll work, but it doesn't doesn't look like it wants to work, so I'll just stick it in the other direction and see if that works. Usually it goes like this. Let me show you guys uh, the transmission just before we put it in. It's all painted up. I put anti seize on the shaft. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but that's, I put a anti season on a lot of stuff. So um, I don't know. Hopefully, it's okay to do. Um, but we just painted it up. I rattle canned it black, and um, say it looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something with this guy here. It's it's pretty worn out. 
as you can see there's not much left on the top here so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do here but uh, we'll figure it out when the time comes but let's go ahead what I'm gonna do is jack up the truck and we'll roll it up underneath it and um, we'll get it close and see if we can jack this whole thing up and uh, stab it into the engine so let me set you guys up here and we'll jack the truck up Alright guys, so we're back. We're gonna uh, get the transmission put in. I gotta make sure it kinda goes just like that.
Okay, as you can see, I got the, uh, uh, moving cart dolly kind of out of the way. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's much better. Okay, there's the holes. Okay, it is in there with three bolts in. Um, I'm going to get all my other bolts ready and put all the O's in. I'm gonna lock, uh, not lock tight, but uh, anti seize all of them and then we're gonna torque them all down. Uh, I don't have my torque wrench here with me, but I'm just gonna get them snug for now. And then uh, we should be good. Transmission back in. It's in neutral. We can drain all the diesel out uh, eventually. I may not right now, but we can in a little while. So I'm going to pause you. Alright guys, I got all my bolts here with uh, lock washers on them. I'm not 100% sure if I'm supposed to have lock washers on these bolts if I'm going to torque them down. But I went ahead, they were... While I was buying the bolts, I went and hit bottom anyways. Um, so I don't know if you guys know if you need lock washers or not. Please comment down in the bottom, let me know. Um, I put any type C's on them just because I think I'm not, I'm not, this is not going to be the only time I take the transmission on and off. So I want them to be, um, you know, be able to take them off and nothing like they don't snap off into the, Bill housing um, uh, of the engine, so I went ahead and just put them on there, and I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these lock washers on and torque them down. So hopefully, it kind of is preventing it from coming loose because I put anti seize on there, but it, you know, they're not gonna break off or anything like that. They're grade eight bolts, inch and a half long, so. We'll go ahead and install those, and then I'll come back and redo the ones that I just put in. And um, we'll go from there. I'm pretty sure there's 12 of them. Throughout the whole entire transmission. So, just if you guys were wondering how many there were, and in the previous video, I cleaned out all these holes on the engine. Like the first day I got it, I cleaned them out, made sure they're clean, good to go.
All right. All right, so that's how you put a, I'm guessing this transmission is like a one and a half ton transmission or two ton transmission. That's how you put a uh, one and a half ton transmission in to a truck. And uh, it's in there. We'll go ahead and take the jack down, let it rest on its own. These motor mounts are all welded up completely. Uh, what else? I don't know what else we could do. The only thing else I was thinking is maybe we, maybe we could move the cab back. And so what my plan was is I wanted to get this engine started. And by doing that, I have to get some uh, batteries for it. Two batteries. Uh, I was going to do two 12-volt deep cycle batteries. And um, uh, we'll just kind of uh, jump start it and uh, just by on the pump and everything and uh, just jump the starter so um, the solenoid to the starter and get it running just so we can hear it run but uh, I mean batteries are gonna be like 200 bucks so I'm kind of holding off um, uh, just because work is kind of slow during this pandemic and all that so uh, we're trying to do this truck on a budget uh, I'm not the richest person in the world uh, so we're gonna try and get it done as cheap as we can, but still make it, you know, nice and reliable. So, and do a good job, you know, do the best job you can with the tools you got is, you know, what I'm trying to do here.